hope you're doing well. So today I'm going to be doing a beauty tag and it is called, I think it's called Weird Beauty Habits and I saw Megan help make up doing this so I'm going to probably put this as a response to your video so hey girls, nice to see you again. Um, and I'm just going to be telling you loads of weird things that I do. Um, one of them is probably really disgusting and you're going to think I'm a minger but I don't care. So um, the first thing that is weird, or that I think is weird that I do, is I don't brush my hair. Um, you probably see, <laughs> there's probably a good reason why I should brush my hair, um, as shown today. It just kind of always looks like a bit crap. But um, I don't really own a brush, I think I do. Or if I do need to brush my hair, then I'll just borrow my mum's. And I don't know why I don't do it. I just don't brush my hair. Even like if I'm going to work or school or whatever, I'll just either tie it up or um, just do it with my fingers just to make sure it looks reasonably okay. Um, my hair doesn't really get that knotty though, so um, I, I can run it through now and I won't really have any knots. But yeah, so I don't really see the need in brushing. But I never get really any split ends, so um, that's why my hair's in pretty good shape. And um, staying with hair as well, I never blow dry my hair. Well, very, very, very rarely. And if I do, I don't use heat protectant. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't really blow dry my hair. I normally just leave it wet, <laughs> which is kind of embarrassing sometimes. Normally, Joe will pick me up. You know, Joe from my other videos. She'll come and pick me up, and I'll just step out of the shower, and I'll just have like sopping wet hair, and I normally just tie like a towel around it and sit in a car with a towel on my head, waiting for it to dry. Um, yeah, I don't blow dry my hair. I just get really hot when I do it. I think, is that a really crap excuse? I don't know, but I get really hot when I blow dry, you know, hair dry my hair. So, to let it dry naturally, um, and it's always fine. It just takes about half an hour, probably, sometimes. Or I'll go outside and just, like, throw my head about. Or if I'm in the car, stick my head out the window and just be like, dry quicker. So, yeah, those are the two things um, to do with hair. Um, another one is that... Um, I always do my eyeliner after my mascara, so like my eyeliner is always the final thing that I do. And I know really you're supposed to put um, eyeliner on and then mascara, and as a makeup artist I am trained to do it that way. But I don't, I don't know why, because then I always get like really smudgy mascara which smudges all over my eyes. I don't know if you can see it today, but um, I've had to wipe some off this eye probably see there where I've had to wipe off some of the mascara that's smudged on my eyelid. So I was putting my, um, what did I put, gosh, here it is, gosh eyeliner pencil on after my mascara and it was still wet because I'm using a new one which I don't really like and um, yeah that always happens to me like every day but still I don't change it. I don't know why I do it. If somebody else does it and you have a reason for doing that then please let me know because I'd love, love to know about it. Um, another one to do with eyelashes, which is really disgusting, and my friends hate me doing it, and it just causes me to look like I've got black dandruff, is I pick the mascara off my eyelashes. Sorry, but I do. I've done it for years. So basically, I'll do it now. So if you are, like, going to be sick watching this, don't look. But basically... Throughout the day, I'll just like take my eyelashes and just like run them between my f my thumb and finger, and I'll get like balls of mascara, like the clumps. I don't know why I do it. Is it like some kind of nervous thing or boredom? But ah, oh, I love getting it all off. It's brilliant. But what happens? I'll demonstrate. Is I'll get like clumps, <laughs> like. This, like flicks of like mascara balls of crap that I've picked off on my chin or like it will be down here or on my clothes and my friends will be like Kaz you look absolutely skank stop doing it and um, I guess I do end up pulling out eyelashes as well which I guess is a really bad thing to do because then it makes your eyelashes quite sparse but mine are okay I don't think they're bad but yeah I do it I can't stop it and then oh now I need to pick the other eye make it even. Just means I go through more mascara. But anyway, I'm addicted to pulling off my mascara from my eyelashes. And I've got my little things up here. What else do I do? Oh, last thing that I do, which is kind of weird, is I spray myself with perfume before I go to bed. Um, I don't really use that much perfume in the day, although my collection is growing and I've got two new perfumes which I'm going to show you now. Woo! Um, 
that I don't really use that much, but I do always use it before I go to bed. I just like spray myself, spray my pillow, and then you just get to sleep in like glorious smelling stuff. So um, my one at the moment that I've been using a lot is Avril Lavigne's Black Star. Now I know you're probably like, oh my god, it's like some celebrity inspired perfume. But this is bloody nice. But I like this. It's got, oh, I looked on the website so I'll be able to tell you. It's like got chocolate. And I'm going to say raspberry, but it's probably not. And um, pomegranate, is it? Passion flower. I don't know, but it's got chocolate in it anyway. It smells really good. I really like this. So I like spray myself with that and spray my pillow. Or I bought this new one, and this was so cheap. This was £6.50, I think, from the perfume shop. And I just wanted to get like the cheapest perfume they had just because I, I needed to spray myself with something the other day in Tumbridge Wells. Um, so I went to the perfume shop, and it's the United Colours of Bennington Be United. This is amazing. Like, I sprayed this because I was staying at Joe's on Sunday after he crashed the wedding on. Saturday, but if you follow Twitter, you'll know all about me crashing some of these weddings. Um, and I sprayed this, and she fell in love with it. She was like, where did you get some? But yeah, it smells so good. It's kind of like a berry, floral, like, fresh fragrance, and it stays on your skin for hours. So I like this one, because then you can still wake up to it, and you feel all fresh in the So, um... They are my weird beauty habits. I tag everybody in this video, so if you would like to do one of these, you can either post your response to me, or obviously Megan Hutt's makeup, because you'll probably get more views from her. But anyway, um, if you're a first time viewer, then please subscribe, that would mean the world to me, and make sure you enter my contest. Um, you just got to either post like enter me or whatever at the bottom, or you can do a Disney inspired look, either a, um, like a video or a slideshow to show me what you use and stuff. That'd be cool. Right then, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye.